This is Radio 3. Good morning, it's 8.03 in Hong Kong on the final week before Christmas. This is Monday's Money Talk on Radio 3 with me, Peter Lewis. The United States added 60 Chinese companies, including the country's top chipmaker SMIC and drone manufacturer DJI Technology, to a trade blacklist as President Trump's administration ramps up pressure on China in his final weeks in office. Let's go up to Shanghai now and join independence economist Andy Shi. Morning, Andy. Good morning. Um, let me ask you about the China Central Economic Work Conference, which ended uh, Friday. The leadership warned of uh, external uncertainties, also risks of an unbalanced and unstable recovery. What in particular do you think they're worried about? Well, it's still back to uh, the uh, kind of a new Cold War between China and the United States. Mm -hmm. and the United States is imposing tech embargo on Chinese companies. And that trend uh, is likely to continue, even under the Biden administration. And how damaging is that for companies like SMIC, for example, which still need chip-making equipment from, from foreign firms, don't they? Yeah, I think the for SMIC, it's a, it's a, a really huge uh, challenge. Uh, it's, it's hard to see how they can overcome it, because the equipment uh, is from... Uh, uh, U.S.-based companies or mm. some other companies that U.S. U, the U, uh, that use U.S. technology, and they would have to comply with uh, the U.S. Uh, uh, U.S. Uh, uh, restriction. So it means that they could not get new machines. Mm. And the other is that uh, when the the existing machines need repairs, they couldn't get the components. So when ch the Chinese leadership talks about becoming more self-dependent and in particular weaning itself off of its dependency on the U.S., sanctions like this really hamper its ability to do that? Yeah, I think that it's like, a, 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 it's again, a, the, the similar thing is supply chain independence uh, that uh, the, the conference uh, uh, talked about. Uh, China needs to establish an, uh, an independent supply chain within China mm. for semi semiconductor equipment. And, uh, the, you know, the semiconductor equipment has uh, this uh, supply chain has uh, like a, a, a potential thousands of companies. Mm. And uh, this industry has been around for like uh, over half a century. Right. And so it's, uh, it's accumulated for over, over a long period of time all over the world. For China to replicate that, uh, you know, it will take many years, to say the least. And is there anything that China can do to try and counter these uh, sanctions and try and insulate itself from the damage? Well, one thing is that uh, the U.S. is not targeting the factory of the, factory of the world anymore. The factory of the world is mostly manufacturing uh, for multinational companies, mm. and uh, multinational companies actually uh, are in charge of the uh, of the pro uh, the supply chains. So uh, the U.S. feels comfortable with the security uh, in the, in this kind of model. So for the Chinese economy, uh, the factory of the world will continue to work. But the aspiration that China developed over the last five years to develop independent companies like uh, for Feng. Uh, the ODM, uh, the, the, uh, the phone companies, mobile phone companies or uh, semiconductor equ equipment companies. And these parts that uh, China have been embarking on uh, uh, are being set back. I think that uh, China needs to, to really pull back and regroup and see where we go from here. Okay. Andy, always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you very much and have a very happy Christmas. That's Andy Shi, Shanghai-based independence economist. You're listening to Money Talk on RTHK Radio 3.